Before I start this video, I just want to say that I've got a goal for the channel and that's to reach 10,000 subscribers basically as soon as I can, as fast as I can. So if you're enjoying the content and you've not subscribed yet, can you hit the button, press the button, smash the button, help me achieve this goal. It's really appreciated, really means a lot to me. So thanks and enjoy the video. So I camped out here last night at uh, Loch Ness. It's just like about just after eight in the morning now. But it's peaceful, really peaceful and quiet and beautiful. No way, uh, no monsters or that. Like, there's no, no Loch Ness monster. I'm afraid. <laughs> it's really good to get away though. See, like this, just peace and quiet and loch and sky and mountains. It's good for your health. Like, good for your mental health. Just listening to all the sounds of nature and stuff. But Loch Ness is interesting, I suppose, eh? Like, world famous for all the, the Loch Ness monster, the, the water horse, the Kelpies, the Selkies, or lots of myth and legend tied into it. There's a castle over there, too. You can't really see it. It's just behind me over the other side of the shore. Urquhart Castle. If you've never visited that, I would advise to visit that as well. I've done that before. It was really good, really cool castle and quite a cool entrance in that. There's like a wee, you're in like a wee movie theatre and you watch a movie about all the history of the castle and what happened at the castle. And then at the end of the film, the screen lifts up and they uh, all these curtains open and the castle's right in front of you and it was, it was just a really cool kind of like entrance into the castle it's one of these places like always loved Loch Ness just wish I was staying here longer but basically just gonna <clears throat> eat some breakfast in that maybe here swim and eh uh, probably head back home but I love it it's just peaceful over there too like just I think you can see it just there. That's like the boat, it's like you can go on a boat trip as well. Because that takes you down to the castle. So you can get the boat and then sail down the loch. And then there's like a like a pier at the, the castle, so you can go into the pier at the castle. Really, really beautiful place. If you've never been, I definitely advise you, you visit it if you get the chance. So lucky in Scotland to all this. I mean, it's literally, it's quite what we would call quite far from where I stay, but it's literally only like a three hour drive and then you're here. So it's not really that far. It's a beautiful day yesterday too, just sunny, like burning hot. 
had like a barbecue and then just stayed the night. It's quite funny though, because every time you're here, like you always keep your eyes out in case you see the Loch Ness Monster or that, but you never do. It's normally just a wave or that, but I suppose it's like world famous, isn't it? Everybody knows about Nessie. Nessie the Loch Ness Monster. That's what I love about Scotland. See the history and the myths and the legends and stuff about it. And it's just like a, it's a beautiful place. Even the weather, again, I think that's like what we, we say. It's like, it's either sunny or raining or snowing or whatever. And it's on the same day, windy. But I mean, that's what makes this this beautiful, this country. It really is. I'm going to head back anyway and get a wee fire going. Get a cup of tea or something. I just thought I'd show you Loch Ness at like half past eight in the morning. And don't worry if I, if I see the monster, I'll have my phone ready. I'll be the, the one <laughs> to find him or find her. But aye, if you ever get the chance to visit, definitely advise it. Just beautiful. That's that anyway, Loch Ness Live, so I'll catch you in the next one.